and in today's video i'll be showing you a free site you can use to download thousands of fronts how you can install it and how you can begin to use it right on your pixel lab so if you're a graphic designer a smartphone designer today's video tutorial guide for you so now let's get right into this video and if you are new to the channel please like this video subscribe to the channel and share this video to your creative friends for them to also benefit so now let's get right into this video so now just go over to your browser whatever site or whatever thing you use your browser just go over there now and search for D A F T. The name of the site is called DaFont.com. This site offers you a free, free premium font for free to download and use for commercial use on your on any project you want to work with. So just search for this DaFont.com and click on this search button. When you click on it. It will still it will take you straightly to this, and this is how their own page look like. As you can see right, here, let me for us to be able to see. So when you zoom in like this, you'll be able to select our. Uh, let me wait for you to zoom in. okay when you zoom in like this you're able to select right from their this their catalog and you'll be able to select series of fonts that you want to so let's say for example you want to work a project that you yourself don't know the kind of font you want to use like but if you come to here as you can see right they have seen right here it said this is a fancy font so if you click on it it's going to bring fancy font font that are related to fashion and other stuff like that so this is really is more like their table of content that will give you an overview of the kind of font they are right on there on their site and also if you are if you know the exact font you want to use for your project you can easily go over to this search bar icon at the top right corner of their site and this child site is definitely free and you have access to thousands of premium fonts for your projects and rest for example you have gotten the kind of font you want to work and download so to download it let's say i want to download this katak font i kind of love it so to download this katak font just go over to the search download button right this right right extreme of their of their screen or every font if this is the font and we want so like this now i want to download this katak so i'll just go over to this download button and click on this download i will just wait for it to do their stuff and very soon it will bring a pop of notification for download on this top right corner as you can see right i say the font is downloaded as you can see right this is it over here okay this is it over here so now when i have it downloaded and i have access to this font that i want to use the nice thing now for you if you are a smartphone designer because some font once when downloaded you can use them automatically on pc lab unless you are uh, unbox them so, so um, welcome to the part two of this video and in, in this part of this video i'll be showing you how you can unzip the file or file you downloaded most time when you download a font or when you download font from site it always come in a zip format it always come in a zip format let me show you an example of what i'm talking about and this is the font we downloaded at part one of this video as you can see like it is written zipped so anything zipped like this you can't use them unless you unzip them so i'll be showing you how you can unzip how you can unbox them and begin to use them right with your smartphone so there are two ways i know and how you can use how you can unzip a folder that are zipped so the first one is using this is archiver as you can see over here so when you access when you access this archiver you can go over to play store and just search for it z a r c h i v e is archiver and it will have this green button as you can see over here so now launch the app and just go over to the uh storage where you have it and i have mine in this device storage so when you're on this device storage you need to locate where the font folder you've downloaded on for example you need to you want to know the name for example the one we downloaded is called katak so i will just search it over here so you can also use it to unzip uh pictures also but for the sake of this video i'll be showing you only how you can unzip font folder so let me just search for the folder Attack. I think this is spelling so just search for it and it's going to bring it out if there's something like that that we downloaded and I'm not sure there's something like that so let me go over go over to download okay this download where it is so I'll just search for it over here attack attack over here so and this is it over here. this was this is the downloaded one we are okay this is the downloaded one we are so just click on it and done um, you know see this we bring these three options at this down part of this video the what we want to do now is we want to extract we want to extract if you want to use it we want to extract what is inside the folder so go over to the extract and it has done there yeah, okay so show it will also bring a definite uh, uh, a place where we want to put those fonts in so our advice if you are a graphic designer that you have just one font folder for you the reason will be known in the third part of this video so now for this now it will bring another folder we want to 
want to extract that file into so and for me i want to extract i want to keep it in my font folder right here let me just go over to um to my storage okay let me search okay let me let me bring in a new folder let me bring in a new folder so let me say this is its font folder let me just tag it font folder font folder so just click over here and you can you see can you now click on this down part click on this download feature on the down part screen so when you download it it will extract right it to it on that folder you have chosen for it to extract so this is it over here now and over to the second how you can add here you can unzip font folder or picture folder so if you have a phone browser on your smartphone this is it over here so this phone browser on my smartphone launch the app when you launch the app go over to your files and um you have you see this zipped picture feature on this file folder so when you go over there now it will take you to all the zipped file you have on your phone and for us now we want to unzip this car pack so go over to this car pack click on this unzip and view when you click on this unzip and view this is now now it has been able to unzip and show us what is inside the folder now the next thing you need to do when you have unzip is to move it move it move it to the folder of your font folder now so and for us we have a font we created a font folder earlier so we'll be using we'll be moving it to the font folder we add earlier so let's wait for you to just bring our font folder so go back to internal storage and then so i think we have let me see for the font folder we created so let me take it there let me take it there so um okay okay let me take it to this font this is my font folder over here so i'll take it out I'll, I'll open the folder and i'll now click on confirm click on confirm can we see now it's there it to say this thing has been put over here so we have it over right here so this is the two ways i know on how you can unzip font folder so now go right to the part part three of this video on how you can locate them on your pixel lab and how you can begin to use them thank you for watching to the part three of this video and on this part of this video i'll be learning you i'll be showing you how you can locate your fonts that you've downloaded that you've unzipped how you can locate them right on pixel lab so this pixel lab over here so we just launched the app and now we got right we we'll get straight to uh, how you can get that exactly so so let's for example i've selected my part written what i want to write so just go over to select your font stuff go over to this a picture and go to your font go to your font and when you're on your font you need to move into your my font so it is my font shows the amount of font you have on your mobile phone so these are need access to my font folder check the description of this video i'll put a link there to access my font folder so now now that we are in this my font folder these are the fonts i have as you can see on this storage and latest stuff these are the fonts i have inside my font so i will now show you how you can locate your font how you can show them font. that is why i advise at the part two of this video that you should have just one one font folder so you save yourself from stretch that is why i only have a one font folder and this is over the but if you have several other fonts folder this is how to locate it so you just go over to this second icon and you go select whatever you have it so for me now i only have a one font folder so i'll just select where is my font so i'll select this font can you see over here so i'll just select this font folder and this is where all my every font that is on my phone is so it's when i click on it maybe it's trying to load this so we just wait for it to load and um can you see all this now so you just add this add directory I just click on this add directory and when you click on this add directory it will bring it right over here now so you can search for whatever font you want so and for me like the only font we did earlier we split uh, with uh, on zip that is the second part of this video the name was katak so to locate this font that's it this is the font over here katak regular so that was the font we downloaded and used so to use it just go over to click on it and you will have this katak over here so this is basically how you can do this font thing on your smartphone how you can download it in this part one i showed you how you can download font in the part two i show you how you can unzip for a zip uh folder and this part three i show you how you can locate your font folder and restore it right on pixel lab so if you find this video helpful can you let me show you like this video you subscribe to the channel i also share to this video to all of your friends that need to see this so thank you for watching see you at the next video